So it's good that there's more of an awareness on test automation in companies right now. But one of the issues I see is a focus on test coverage, just being able to meet a certain percentage, say 80% of the code becomes covered with, with tests, for example. So I find that a concern because if that's the only metric then related to testing, then that's what people will pursue. And then there would be a lot of negative behaviors like testing things that aren't risky, right? like things like just getters and setters. The problem with uh, just going after coverage is in a system, there are things that are very risky and probably require more tests, say things with a lot of impact and high probability things where say the company might lose a lot of money or might be exposed to uh, litigation or maybe in the case of airplane systems, aircraft systems, and medical devices, people's lives can be at risk. So those scenarios probably need more testing. Probably those areas, those hot spots of risk, would probably require more tests and more creative tests rather than just trying to blanket the entire system with tests. Right? So uh, one important concept that we need to uh, consider is the concept of risk-based testing. One of the first things that professional testers learn when they take a course on testing is you can't test everything. So there needs to be an analysis of where the risk hotspots are in a system and then come up with targeted scenarios to deal with those risks. And so it's not so much about blanketing the system with test coverage, but making sure uh, we've mitigated the risk overall to the system. And that probably means focusing on certain hotspots. The other issue with writing a lot of tests, particularly automated tests, is more tests actually make code uh, more difficult to change because when uh, there's a lot of tests and you uh, modify the code under test, it would often break the, the associated test. So tests are, are still code, tests contribute to the cost of maintaining code. So there's such a thing as the right amount of tests and, and particularly writing the appropriate amount of tests based on the amount of risk in each part of the system. All right. So again, it's not about quantity, but it's about mitigating risk. Right? So areas that have more risks should have more tests. Areas that have minimal risk don't need as much tests.